Want to know if your child is ready to potty train? Keep watching, because in this video we discuss six things or six signs that shows your child is ready to potty train. Some kids do do that. Do 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 do. Anyway, guys, my head, <laughs> my head is in the gutter today. Anyway, ah, oh, the puns, the puny puny puns. Anyway, good day, C3 parents, and welcome. I'm your coach, Karin Pito, and welcome to another conversation. All right, so we are going to talk about the six signs of readiness for potty training. I've had the request that people asked, how do I know my kid is ready to potty train? How do I potty train? How do I do all these things? I'm tired of changing diapers. If you're new here, kick off your shoes, relax, sit back, enjoy the conversation, hit that subscribe button, please ring that bell so you get notifications on what's going for what and when we upload it. So let's dive right into the six signs of readiness. The first sign is that your kid is showing interest when you go to the toilet. You know, when your privacy walks out the door. A lot of parents have had that opportunity when you went to the, to the toilet with the door closed and had privacy and yes it's awesome and then you have kids and then they start showing interest. So here's the important part of this. They have to see you use the toilet because kids learn through modeling and mirroring what we do. That is why the do, don't do what I do, just do what I say thing never works on kids. They want to do what you do. So they're going to start show interest, maybe offer to help you wipe, maybe offer to give you some toilet paper, usually just one little square. Um, yes. Um, yeah. That usually leads to tears when you need to take more because one yeah anyway um, I get sidetracked with memories of very uncomfortable toilet conversations with my kids but anyway they want to go into the toilet room is the toilet saying bathroom makes me think of bathing bathing now my English is broken okay so I'm gonna, for, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to say toilet room. So they want to join you in the toilet room. They want to see what you do. They want to see how the flushing works. Some of them wants to flush your toilet. Some of them flush it while you're still on the toilet. Our kids so, shows interest in that room, in that space, and what you are doing there. They're trying to model. They're trying to learn. They're trying to copy what you are doing. So unfortunately, I know it's a sacrifice to let go of your privacy. But let go of your privacy for this specific thing because it is an important part of their readiness and their understanding on the shift from diaper to using the toilet or using the potty. The second sign, they are drier for longer than usual. Now, we don't even really register it, but we get into a rhythm with our kids and you've, we've seen it all and we've done it all. We're like, you know what, I need to check the diaper. I think the diaper is full. And then you get there and then there is nothing in the diaper and your kid has been eating well, they have been drinking their fluids so it's not like they, they didn't drink enough fluids so now the diaper is not wet it's like they had their regular day but it seems like they go for longer time periods before they dirty their diaper and the reason being that is they're starting, their body is starting to register sphincter and bladder control and they are trying to understand those signals and they, they've got a little bit more control over it which is a sign that they are ready or slowly getting surely but getting ready to actually have that kind of control over their body and over their bladder and getting ready to become toilet trained, body trained. The third thing that they do is they also tell you that they are ready or that they, they want to go. Um, in the beginning it's usually after the facts like mom I need to pee and then or dad I need to pee and then when you get there they're like oh let's go to the and then they've already done it in the diaper that's fine they are it's showing that they are becoming aware of their body cues even if they miss the mark with a few seconds um, some of them are like busy and say I need to go and then they're already busy going that is okay that's a sign that they are starting to read their body cues and starting to show that they are aware what's going on in the nether region and that they are aware that you know while well, the diaper gets changed every time they've done that so getting those cues and if you actually say to kids hey I need to go to the bathroom I need to go pee or I need to go poop or whatever language you use in your family 
them understanding that there's cues to be given and they actually start modeling that and they will start communicating the moment they are getting ready to potty train they will start communicating those things fourth one is pulling at their wet or dirty diaper not all kids do this some kids do do that do 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 anyway guys my head <laughs> my head is in the gutter today so when they start pulling at their diaper um, when it's dirty whether it's um, for poop or pee it's a sign of readiness now I'm not going to harm you like scar you for life we've all seen those photographs of the kids that painted their their bedrooms and whatever because they took off their diapers when a kid starts taking off their diapers or start pulling at their pants when it's wet or dirty that is a cue like listen yeah we really need to start potty training because otherwise you might end up with an interesting mural in your home the first one the first one is hiding when they need to potty or when they need to pull peep so um, some kids because they see you leave the room go do it in the bathroom or toilet room toilet room toilet room they're going to do it in the toilet room they see you going for privacy and, and and so they start doing it as well so they go hide and sit in the corner and pee or hide behind the couch when they poo um, it's not that they want to hide and 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 don't want you to change their diaper because they they, they use their diaper for what it was made for it is them copying or modeling our behavior of the need for privacy when we actually empty our bladder or empty our bowls it's it's what they do so some kids actually do that and that is actually a very nice sign of readiness a very good sign to show they are reading their body cues them actually finding the time to run and go do it somewhere in privacy shows you that they are ready to understand that they can cue you and say mom I need to use the potty or and that you can start the potty training journey the sixth one the last one is having a dry nap now if we don't have any control over our bladders you know if our bladders are extremely tiny we will wet the bed if we sleep or when we sleep because our whole body relax and our brain doesn't register and pop goes the weasel so um what we do is when they have an afternoon nap and they wake up and they dry after the afternoon nap once again normal regular fluids and food intake as per usual and then they have a dry nap that is also a very very clear indicator that your kid is ready to potty train now nighttime training looks a little bit different we know that because it's a longer sleep and a longer time period that they are you know resting it takes kids sometimes a bit longer to night train than from day training so night time nap nappy removal can happen sometimes months even years after a child has been daytime potty trained um, it just depends that is really a developmental leap it is about the brain development about how deep they sleep and about how aware of their bodies they are when they are sleeping so don't feel discouraged when your child doesn't have a dry night in a very long time Kids, that is really a milestone that depends from kid to kid it depends from kid to kid and it can have an impact um, on their development usually by the age of seven if they still have that kind of situation where they do still wet the bed at night then you will have to go speak to a pediatrician but most kids in general don't have those issues and they will night, night train within a couple of months or maybe even a year after being daytime trained so guys that's where i'm going to end the conversation today please stay safe wash your hands wear your masks um, i love you thank you for following us thank you for chatting with us thank you for commenting down below how was your body training journey and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next conversation have a good one cheers